I'd like to do a special thank you today. We hit 1 million. Uh, we passed 1 million views today. And I would like to, to thank everybody. I'll show you. I'd like to thank everybody for helping uh, make that happen. And um, I'm going to do a special coin roll hunt today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, especially our members, I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank Marte, um, Sandra, Cat from Catatonic, Otis, and uh, Eric from Keen Ice Collectibles um, for supporting the channel. And uh, being here with us for this uh, 1 million views. I mean, other channels make a really big deal out of it. I, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, we got here kind of fast, so I don't really know. Like, I don't have kind of a perspective. I kind of don't have a perspective on it, you know, like, uh, should. Is that a big deal? I don't know. Like, what? The, how, how long does it usually take people to get to a million views? Uh, a year or two i'm not sure <laughs> with that said um let's check out what i got we're not gonna do the cherry picker roll today we're gonna do a regular roll i opened up one before and it had um 20 percent copper with 10 copper pennies in it so let's see if this one's any better and again thank you um i don't know i mean i put a lot of time into these videos so I guess you know it means a lot to me that uh, to see that people are watching and enjoying and and um, subscribing and you know we've had a couple new members in the past month and they get to see the uh, the videos that I put up and special content and of course the, all their names go into every single description which I have thousands of videos so especially if you have you know if you anyway anyway there's, those are part of some of the benefits that the members get and I. It's just a little token of my appreciation, and um, and this is another token of my appreciation because I already had videos up for today, so this is going to be a um, an extra one for for all of you, you know, for all of you. Thank you. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if we got twenty percent copper in here. Let's take a look at it. I think we do. I mean, it's definitely some copper in there. All right, so without further ado. Huh, first one we get. Oh, that's a beauty, huh? What a beauty. Yeah, I'll put this with the uh, the AU uh, sense. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. You know what I'm thinking, right? How beautiful would this penny be if it was cleaned? Yeah, we're going to have to clean that one. Now, remember, I'm not trying to take away value from it. Uh, you might say, but you are taking away value. Uh, it's not It's not worth anything, you know. So I would really like to see that penny uh, pop, you know, with its, its colors and everything. As an experiment, I'm saying. Just as an experiment. Never clean your, your coin collection coins. Or valuable coins, for that matter. I see that above the N and E there. Looks a little weird. I'm going to check that out in a minute. Make sure it's not a die clash or... Let's look at the other side. Hmm. 89. All right, let me check this out real quick. Hmm. 
Nah, I'm gonna say it's it's machine doubling, right? There's a you can see the tilted hub going around, and the uh, dirt just happens to be in the place where it made it look like a, like a shadow of a of a double die, but it's not. Maybe this is a little too close. Hold on. Finding that exact perfect location. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, 2005. Yeah, let's look at that. Oh, wow. It's just in the, you know, I bet you this is a, a Kala era. Yeah. Look how round it is. Yeah, I bet you it's a Kala era. Yeah, it seems supposed to be flat. The other one's rounded. See how flat the uh, and edges. Now look at the one we just found. Rounded. Um. Now some. Now now is it a um. a a dryer era like something that was you know was this eh, i don't think so i don't think so i think it's i think it's a collar era 64d 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 let me get the uh, mat up Okay, there is a uh, 64P double die reverse is the uh, key date. That is an interesting scent, let me tell you. Sixty four D. Ah, nice. Look at that. Look at that. You got to look at the rims, you know? That is so interesting. Now, what causes this, you know, obviously it's the collar, right? I found I found not too many of these, but I have seen these before. And I really don't know what causes it. I have to be honest with you. There's a part of me that thinks it's just the um, the deterioration of the of the collar, and it just starts making lines in it. You know, from from pennies going in and out of it. Uh, it looks like you know from a dime, but I really don't think that's what it is. But it is a, it is, it does appear, it does look like reading. So for that reason, um, we will hold on. I will put that into a flip, and I will mark it as um, a readed edge, even though it's not a strong read. It's not a strong read like from a quarter or something like that, or one that you might see in a. Uh, in a catalog or but obviously it's not supposed to look like that i guess that's my point All right so it's an anomaly will it get the designation of um of a read it of a read it edge problem i don't know probably not you know 
it might get the designation of like a a, a collar era. That it, that it probably would like a collar era. Ah, look how look how light that L is. How cool that is. That's a nice tilted rim. Really strong. Let's see if it causes anything on the, on the reverse. Not really. Let me look at that under the loop real quick. No, just a very nice tilted hub. Another copper. Let's see. I think this is a copper. Nah, I don't know. Let's see. Nope. Just dark like copper. One million views. Hmm. And we're about to hit the uh, the five thousand subscriber um, five thousand subscriber. I don't know a benchmark. You want to call that a benchmark? The O and the N and the E. Yeah, there's some machine doubling on those letters on the bottom. I'm gonna check while I have the loop out. I just want to check the uh, obverse. And I do see some doubling on the eye. Let me just, there's some dirt on it. Let me just see if I could just rub some of that off real quick. So let's go back to the O. Now you can see that you can see the machine doubling on the O, on the N, on the E. Basically, it sent the whole thing. How at the top? Not really. Huh. Ah. Yeah, a little bit there. And they call that machine doubling. You know, it has to do with the fact that it's a zinc. And look, you can see it on the eye too. You see the eye? That's a better one. You know? Um... Not too much value for that. If any, if any, you know, it's a, uh, the machine doubling is pretty common. There are some, 
uh, rarer ones. Oh, that's nice. See, like this, I just like the surface. The surface is beautiful. The hub is beautiful. You know, going through the, the letters in the middle. Let me look at that under the loop. Trust appears to have some doubling. Let me look at the reverse. I'm going to say no to the reverse. Trust, 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 trust. See the S? And that's that's machine doubling. The U, S, and the U have some machine doubling there. Uh, some people would, you know, sell try to get five bucks for this. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. And if you look hard enough, you find these. But I like I like it with the combination of the way the look at that. Even the uh, the rim is kind of like fluted almost. It's pretty cool. Huh, getting a lot of messages there. What's going on? Oh, I think there might be a package outside. That's my uh, camera system going off. I can hear the people moving around. All right. Well, I'll get to it after the video, man. I don't know what to say. Hopefully no one steals it. I don't think so. I don't want to rush. So. But I could hear somebody moving around out there at the same time that the, uh, the phone was alarming. So I know, I know it's the, uh, it's the security system saying that somebody's out there. Probably uh, Amazon dropping some, some stuff off. If I wasn't making a video. I would check out the uh, what's going on. But a few more minutes ain't going to make a big difference. I just want to make sure I do not miss. An error. I know I see that there between the O and the D. It looks like just it just looks like the lines though from the uh, hmm. Well we found a few coppers. I always like that. Add to the add to the stack. Stacking copper. Ninety two D or P. Let's see if we got the close AM here. We do not now that's a wide AM, man. That's wide. You see these people, they try to pretend like a wide AM. That's wide. I'll weigh this one. Almost looks like copper, right? I mean, technically, the clad is copper, but like it, it, it doesn't have that bubbly look to it, you know. Two point five six.
I'm going to look between the I and the B there, see if there's anything. No, nah, it's just a clean spot. <laughs> Another copper, which is gracias. I don't think this is copper. Nope. Hmm. We'll check that out next to the nine. Look for the white AM. Nope. No, just dirt. I don't know if that's a die crack or a blister or just post mint damage. Hard to tell. That's a beauty, huh? Die Clash? Yep. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 100%. But usually you see something on the front. It's just it's so dark and dirty. You keep me rolling. We're hanging. You got me riding dirty, you got me riding dirty. I don't know the words to this song, but I have a die clash. I have a die clash. All right, so here's the. You can see it there. I think that's. No, I'm, it's there somewhere, man. There's got to be the reverse. Here somewhere. That's the problem with these dirty pennies. But in here, you can see it. That's the face. Right there. I think that's the face. I don't know what that. I mean, it's a die classic. I mean, could it be from something else? Maybe, but that's always where. There's a pointy little nose right there. So it's a die clash. I think it's from, I just can't see the reverse because the reverse is not good. Is it worth anything? Eh, I don't know. It's kind of weak. We'll check it out later. But if you don't know what to look for, you will you'll you'll miss you'll miss a good one. And a good a good die clash is twenty to hundred dollars. You know, a strong one, uh, a vibrant one, one that shows you know the face and the building very clearly. That's you know a really really good one. Of course, is hundreds. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations to the channel for for um for one million views. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
and I will see you guys on the next one.